What's up, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here from Leech for Locals. This one is going to be for my fellow SaaSpreneurs. Uh, if you have a SaaS agency with Go High Level, I'm going to be showing you a very, very powerful way. Actually, uh, a couple of different strategies. I think there's three that I put down there. Uh, but different ways to use the crazy powerful new uh, AI marketing tool, ChatGPT, how to take that and use it in your Go High Level SaaS agency. So, uh, and Anytime I do a video like this, I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm doing in my agency right now. And I think this is some really powerful stuff, which is why I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to be adding a lot of it, uh, like really, really step by step detail. I'm going to go into as much as I can uh, on this video, but um, I have a SaaS agency university that I'm going to be adding all of these strategies to. Uh, so make sure you check that out in the description. But anyways, uh, make sure you stick to the end. This stuff is is awesome, man. There's some really cool things you can do to take your SaaS agency to the next level, make it a lot more valuable, reduce churn, get more clients, etc. Right. So make sure you stick to the end. Uh, if you find the video helpful, please smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. If you don't have Go High Level yet, please go through my affiliate link. If you don't mind, it does help support the channel. All right. Let's, uh, let's break these down and then I'm going to actually take you into chat GPT and show you how to start putting this stuff together. Uh, number one, quickly creating long-term uh, email follow-up sequences. You can also do this for text messages as well. But <clears throat> having an automated, uh, a long-term automated follow-up sequence for your clients is really, really important. It's going to help them convert more of their leads over time. It saves them a lot of time too, because they're not having to do it from scratch and, and, and create their own email sequences. So chat GPT allows you to create a very long-term follow-up sequence specifically for your client's industry uh, very quickly. So I want to show you that one first. So we're going to head over to chat GPT. If you're not familiar with this yet, I did a video on this uh, the other day. You can check it out, uh, but it's free to use as of right now. Uh, you just create a create an account, name, email, phone number, all that good stuff. And this is the dashboard. It's pretty simple, uh, it, it's, which is interesting because it's like a crazy powerful software. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do, uh, I want to give you a couple of terms or like statements, requests that you can type in here to, to start to create this long-term follow-up sequence. So I'm going to use the industry that my SaaS product is in uh, as an example. It's for business funding because... I'm, I want to add more emails to my follow-up and I, you know, uh, I want to do it as quickly as possible. So uh, we're going to, uh, you can click on new chat or uh, I think we're already on it anyways, uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, so one of the statements we can make uh, when, if we're trying to create a follow-up sequence here, right? So I'm going to start with 10 topics about uh, 10, uh, what are, let's see, 10 different topics about business funding. Okay. So I'm telling it right 10 different topics. All right. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because uh, I want to create an outline first. I want to get some ideas about some, uh, like what, what type of emails do I want to add to this follow-up sequence? And in general, the way I do my follow-up is I like to provide educational follow-up content that teaches the audience um, d specific parts of, uh, about and, and different tips and strategies and techniques, whatever around the problem that the, uh, my client's service solves, right? So in this case, business owners are looking for funding. I want to teach them uh, about all the different types of business funding, how it works and all that stuff, how to get funding. So right here, right off the bat, we can get 10 e different email. Like each one of these would be their own separate emails. And now what, what I can do, now that I have these, uh, you can put these in a Google Sheet or a Google Doc or whatever to stay organized. Uh, but now what I can do is this first topic here, traditional bank loans for small businesses. So what I can do now is how, um, how uh, we can ask a couple of questions here. So, you know, who, what, when, how, all that stuff, right? Uh, those are the types of questions we can now ask around every single topic. So we might be able to get a couple of emails with one of these topics, but uh, my, my point with this is now we want to go into detail on each one of those topics, and that is going to create the actual follow-up email. So how do traditional bank loans work? Okay, the, uh, the next question is, how, um, how do business owners typically get a traditional bank loan? 
I could also ask, uh, what are usually the interest rates for small uh, for traditional bank loans? How long does it usually take? What are the common use cases? Things like that, right? Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to answer the questions that the, the, this audience already has. That's that's basically what I want to do with the email follow up sequence. So now what I can do, um, so so we'll ask the next question, and while that's uh, typing it out, we can go over to go high level. Uh, so I'm in my SaaS product right now. We're going to click on marketing. I use the email builder for all of my emails. So I'll go to templates right here. <clears throat> and I'm just going to uh, duplicate the uh, template that I use. Uh, let's see. General business owner. Here we go. All right. I'm going to do, where's, okay. Uh, opt in email 15. I'm going to go, uh, let's see. Uh, I think uh, I'm at 16. Next one is 17. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to replicate number 16 here and then I'm going to rename it. Um, this way uh, I don't have to recreate the, the entire email. I can just come in and change the, uh, the content, like the actual text in the email. So this is usually how I do it. Uh, and maybe this one is how, uh, well, I'll just name it uh, traditional bank loans. Okay. All right. So that'll be the name of this template. So I know what to add to the automation. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's see. Actually, it should be. Yeah. Okay. It is in that folder. All right. There we go. All right. So let's open up this email. All right. So it already has my clients, custom value links and logo and all that stuff. I'm not going to mess with any of that. We're just going to change the subject line. Uh, and I mean, we could even ask chat GPT to write five email. I love this, man. This is so cool. Write five email subject lines uh, about traditional bank loans. See what it comes up with. Okay. Uh, okay. So this, this one's get load straight. Act now streamline. All right. I like this one right here. So I'm going to go with the second one. I'm going to copy this. And now basically all we're going to do guys is we're going to start copy and pasting stuff. It's literally all we need to do. So we could, we could have a 10 sequence, uh, 10, 10 emails, a sequence of 10 emails in like 10 minutes. You know, whereas before, at least the way I was doing it, because I would like manually write everything out, uh, you know, I would use blogs and articles uh, to get inspiration and stuff like that. But it would take a lot longer than 10 minutes to create 10 emails. It, it'd take me at least a couple of hours the way I was doing it before. Now, I mean, you're just copy and pasting this stuff because it, it what it the information that ChatGPT uh, provides is actually really good. It's not like old, you know, AI software, uh, you know, when it was first getting started, it's kind of clunky and you got to clean it up all the time. You know, this stuff is actually really good. So um, we're going to click on the three dots here, go to settings, and I'm going to just paste over the subject line here. Maybe the right choice for your business. All right, so we'll click save. All right, now we're going to paste in the content that GTP provided. So how do traditional bank loans work? So I'm going to copy this. Um, and actually, uh, what I'll do too, um, let's see, let's do pro. Uh, this is another good statement that, uh, or a question I like to ask when I'm, I'm diving into more detail on a topic. What are the pros and cons of whatever it is that you're writing about? What are the pros and cons of a, of uh, traditional bank loans? All right. So now I've got a lot of information that I can utilize here. Uh, Today, we're talking about traditional bank loans and how they work. Uh, we'll do how, let's see, how they work, the pros and cons. Okay, now I'm going to just delete most of this because I, I still want my call to action to be right here. All right, we're going to paste this in. Paste this plain text. Uh, we do need to break it up. All right. Traditional bank loans to qualify. All right. So we're just breaking this up. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to finish this later. Hopefully you guys get the idea. All right. Now what I can do is add this email to my long-term follow-up sequence for my clients. And, you know, the longer that follow-up sequence is, the more likely they are to uh, convert their leads. 
All right, so really, really powerful way to create long-term email follow-up sequences uh, and uh, just make your SaaS product that much more valuable. Next, let's talk about uh, creating internal marketing assets that send leads to clients. So there's really, uh, for me anyways, uh, two ways of doing this uh, is starting a blog or uh, a faceless YouTube channel. I'm actually taking the route of uh, a faceless YouTube channel, but you can also use the blog feature inside of Go High Level. Now, what I mean by this is you're not creating a blog for your clients. You're creating kind of a marketing brand for your client's industry that is going to, uh, and, and you're creating a blog for that. And then you send all of the traffic that that blog gets to your clients. So let me, let me break down how that works. All right, because uh, I'm, I'm doing this with the faceless YouTube channel. We're going to combine this with a couple of other tools. So we're using uh, basically what I'm doing is I use chat GPT to, uh, to, to write the script uh, to get the ideas, uh, just like the follow up email sequence and to also get the, the scripts for the videos. So we head over back over to chat GPT. You can see here I've been uh, I'm at five videos right now. And uh, let's see, the last one I did for it was a business line of credit. And I'm basically just, uh, I created a video. I think it was like four, maybe five minutes long, maybe not even that. And I, I made it really, really quick. Um, and we're just, I'm just talking about how a business line of credit works, right? Now, the brand that I created for my, so my SaaS product is called Elite Broker, but the marketing brand that I'm using for my clients with this faceless or for this faceless YouTube channel is called the Lending Pot. And every video I post is going to any traffic that comes from those videos is going to go to my clients. So to create the video, I use a tool called Pictory and I'll have an affiliate link down below. If you guys want to try it, I really appreciate it. Go through that. It's very cheap. Uh, I pay, I, I think I'm on the, I'm on the basic subscription right now. I'm probably going to upgrade to premium. Uh, it's super cheap. I mean, uh, let's see, what is it? Monthly 23 a month or 47 a month. I'm probably going to upgrade to this one here uh, in a little bit, but I'm getting plenty done with the standard. And uh, in another video, I'll probably go into detail, like how to actually create the videos. I'll have it in my SaaS agency uh, university as well. But I just want to show you the tools here. And uh, if I log in here really quick, I'll show you some of the videos that I've made so far. So basically what I'm doing is I take the text that I get from chat GPT because uh, guys, you can literally come in here and tell this thing to write a 500 word or a thousand word video script for your topic. And it'll, it'll, <laughs> it'll write the script for you. The way I I've been doing it is exactly what I've shown you here. Uh, so I'll just kind of break this down. The first question I ask is, what is a business line of credit? So we're kind of getting a broad general overview of the topic. And then I start going into more detail. What are the pros and cons? I ask this pretty much with every piece of content that I'm creating with this strategy. Uh, some of the pros and cons. All right. What are the qualifications? Where can you get a business line of credit? So these questions uh, end up creating like a three to five minute faceless video. And you take this stuff and you paste it into Pictory. Uh, using script to video. And it actually, uh, I'll show you what it actually, uh, like the end result of what it creates here. So go to Lending Pot. All right, this, uh, let's see, what was, yeah, what is a business line of credit? Here we go. So let's, uh, let me open this up. Hopefully this will work. Okay, here we go. Now right, we got a lot of stuff popping up here. All right, so you'll see down here, um, basically, uh, before we got to this part, I, I just pasted my entire script in here and it took the script, it broke it up into these different scenes and automatically inserted all of these videos. So uh, I don't need to be on video. I don't need to download a bunch of videos and then upload them. Uh, I don't even need to do the voiceover. I, it provides background music and I'm able to create this faceless YouTube video that provides good content for the audience in less than 30 minutes. Really, really powerful stuff. And what I do, so this is uh, this is part of the strategy right here in the, uh, let's see, I think it's the sec uh, third scene. Okay, the third scene, I have a call to action to request the free custom business funding plan, which is the primary marketing asset 
for, uh, that my clients use inside of my SaaS product. So this is basically becomes a lead generation YouTube channel for my SaaS clients. That's huge, guys. It's freaking awesome. Now I'll get to how to send the traffic to your clients here in a second, but I want to show you the video part first. This tool is just freaking amazing. You combine it with Chat GTP, uh, Chat Chat GPT, and you have man, you can you can bust out a lot of videos really quick. And so I'm creating these different videos talking about different aspects of funding, credit, etc. Okay, let's um let's talk about. Let's see, I'm going to break down that strategy a little bit more. So we, uh, we just covered combining different tools. Um, let me show you how you actually send the traffic. Um, so I don't, I haven't posted the videos just yet. I only have five made. I'm going to make one more and then I'm going to get all the thumbnails for it. I'm actually going to um, just pay somebody on Fiverr to do my thumbnails for me. So I can, uh, you know, save a little bit of time in the process here. So, uh, but all right, to send traffic, whether you're doing the blog or you're doing a faceless YouTube channel, okay? We wanna be able to send traffic to our clients. How do we do that when you have lots of clients, okay? Click Magic. Guys, I think Click Magic is one of the most underutilized tools in marketing. I've been using it for years. There are so many benefits to it. It's really cheap. Uh, but what I'm gonna talk about in this video is their rotator feature. And I'm gonna have an affiliate link for this down below. Please go through that, it helps support the channel. All right, rotators, <laughs> this is so cool. So basically what you're able to do is create one link inside of ClickMagic that will rotate through all of your client's URLs. So in this particular case, you see here, I've got 43 clients on this right now that I've added. And all I have to do is click this little wrench button. I can add URLs. Anytime I get a new client, I can add them to this marketing channel very easily. I basically just take the URL for their opt-in page uh, from one of the funnels that I provide them, add that to this rotator URL. And what you do is you take the rotator URL and this is what you put on every single blog post, every in the description of every single uh, YouTube video, right? We take this right here and you can see it's branded to the marketing brand that I created for this, all right? And then anytime somebody watches one of those videos or reads one of your blog posts and they click on this link, it is going to, you can see I have it set for sequential. Every link click, every link click is going to, uh, they're gonna go to a different page. So one link click, they're gonna go to the first URL. Another person clicks it, they're gonna go to the second URL. That way every client gets the same amount of link clicks uh, every time. So it just goes through all the URLs in order. Holy smokes, guys. And um, obviously it's gonna take you, like if you're just getting started with this, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get that momentum, get a lot of traffic. But in three to six months, if you're really consistent with this, which there's no reason you shouldn't be, because it's so easy to make now with something like chat GPT, it takes out so much of the time and effort. Uh, like my goal now, uh, now that I've like really gotten used to this and I've got a system in place for it, my goal is two, maybe three videos a day, uh, like to really try and ramp up this channel as, as quickly as possible. So, I mean, this is just so powerful for, for SaaS agencies. Now, one, uh, another question I thought about too, I think I uh, mentioned it here. Um, okay, no, I, th I think I talked about it in a in a different uh, slideshow. Anyways, what happened? Uh, like, what do you do if you have nationwide clients or if you have local clients? Well, you can really do it for either. And what you could do is you can create uh, geographic specific types of videos or blog posts. So maybe you're, maybe you're doing this for chiropractors. We maybe got a SaaS product for chiropractors. You can create a blog post or a video, Jacksonville, Florida, chiropractors, stuff like stuff like that. And you could start to create, um, geographical type, uh, geographic specific or location specific, um, uh, the content and yeah, so you can, you can do this for local clients as well. You can also uh, create that as an upsell if you wanted. So maybe you're not creating that specifically for the marketing brand that you set up, 
But when you get a new client, maybe as part of a signup fee or an upsell, they can purchase a location specific video that you create for their specific business using your channel. And then you upload it to your channel and you have full control of it, or you, you write a blog post for them, whatever. So great upsell opportunity as well. So this provides traffic to your clients, websites, funnels, et cetera. Couple of other benefits for us SaaS agency owners here, guys. You can, this can be an, an, an entire new revenue stream for your agency because as you grow this, whether it's the blog or YouTube channel, uh, eventually you can get monetized and that's a whole other revenue stream that you can get that can be, it, it can add a lot of revenue to your business once you get some momentum. So uh, once you get monetized, new revenue stream, and you can put affiliate links inside every single blog post or every single YouTube channel. What I'm doing for mine, um, since the audience that the channel is going to be going after are small business owners, every single video I create is going to have an affiliate link to an accounting software that is really, really good. It saves business owners a lot of time and money. It's, it's pretty cost effective and it organizes all of their books. Uh, it, it organizes their books every month and creates a really good uh, balance sheet and income statement, all that stuff uh, for their that they can send to their accountant at the end of the year. They can also work with their accountant. So that's very relevant to my audience. So not only so, so let's recap this. I'm creating uh, basically another source of traffic and leads for my clients, which is going to significantly increase the value of my SaaS product hopefully reduce churn as well, because now you're sending them uh, leads automatically every single month. All right, we have the opportunity to get monetized. So it's going to create another revenue stream and we can generate affiliate revenue. That's three additional benefits with one strategy here, you know, and it, it doesn't even take that much effort. Like these videos that I'm creating here, chat GPT, Pictory, and then I add the URL and click magic, like combine that, man, really, really powerful stuff, guys. So uh, let's see, I think that's it for that strategy. Uh, again, I, I'm gonna probably create a separate video. I'll, I'll definitely have it in my SaaS agency university here very soon on like step-by-step, -step, how do we create the actual videos? How do we have voiceover and all that stuff? But we'll do that later. Um, this is just to give you the idea and you, know, you can kind of take it and run with it. Lastly, creating marketing videos for clients that you can put in their funnels. Think of a video sales letter. Maybe you can put together a 10 minute video within your client's funnels that uh, it's just, it's a video, video sales letter. That's it, right? So maybe you create like a, um, I'm starting to brainstorm what I want to do with this, uh, having some type of free business funding training, and we can go into chat GPT. Let's start a new chat here. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> write a video script talking about business funding. All right. Now this is just a start. Again, I, I like to kind of, when I'm creating content like this, I like to think of it as kind of like a blog outline. And that's actually another chat or another request that we can make is write a video. Actually, this is probably a better question, Write a video. Um, actually, let's do this right an outline uh, for a video about how to get um, how business funding works. And how to get business funding. All right. Uh, I don't I don't think it'll stop. But yeah, see, I think we have to I think we have to wait till this is done. Uh, it's almost done here. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I mean, look at this, guys. It's it goes into a, a pretty decent amount of, of detail. It's it's crazy. But anyways, uh, you know, we could I, I could start with the outline of the video. And just like I was doing before, we can go into more detail about each part of that outline. And before you know it, you have a 10, 15 minute video script that you can then take into Pictory, um, or, um, you know, this is, I, I got to look into this. Um, I don't know if it allows you to do like a slideshow style videos. Uh, that would actually be something, uh, if we click proceed here, 
uh, I'm just going to do test. All right, let's click process because this is where you put all of the uh, where you put the script and everything. I don't know if there's a slideshow option. I would I would think there is. I'm not 100 percent sure. I have to check on that. But anyways, it doesn't even necessarily have to be a slideshow. But my point is, uh, you can now create this 10 to 15 minute training. Like in my case, I can create a 10 to 15 minute training all about business funding and credit that I can now put into my SaaS product that my clients can use in their marketing to generate and convert more leads. So anyways, guys, those are those are the ways that I'm using chat GPT in my SaaS agency right now. I'm really excited about it. Uh, this stuff is just incredibly powerful. So uh, I'm also really excited to continue sharing the, the journey with you guys and the results that I get from this and just different things, different ideas that come up uh, along the way. So if you guys find this helpful, please uh, make sure you uh, like the video, drop a comment down below, leave me your feedback. What do you guys think about this? And also please share with me some ways that you, that you are combining chat GPT with go high level and these different, uh, these different tools. So anyways, hope that was helpful guys. Talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.